meeting so many different people across from me at the table. That was wonderful. The wild thing was I kept hearing so many different stories. People would talk about why they came to the Bridge Club, what it represented to them. And I found myself being a little distracted by everything going on, which, believe me, didn't help my game. You really need to focus on your game. But I was just hearing so many stories. So I thought, okay, what do I do? What do I do here? And I did what anybody else would do in my situation. I wrote a musical. Two teams at the table, north and south, east and west. Thirteen cards a player, aces are best. I grew up in a house where my parents were always playing cards, but I never learned bridge there, even though they played it. I am 18 years old now, but I first started playing bridge when I was around 10 years old. I became interested in bridge at a very young age you're reading the daily newspaper call. I was first introduced to bridge at uh, my fraternity house as a kid. We used to play with a bottle of tequila and whichever team lost had to take a shot from tequila. We uh, would stop playing when we couldn't distinguish between a heart and a spade. It's a game for partners Should agree on what and how Fasten up your seatbelts The ride starts now I was 16, visiting my sister and brother-in-law, and got roped into playing this game called Bridge. I learned to play Bridge when I was a little girl. Could have been three, four, five years old. Really a pipsqueak. I fell in love. A love that lasted all my life and became a passion when I stopped working. I played through high school, through my undergraduate days at university, through graduate school. When Joanne first called me and asked me if I was a bridge player, I told her that I had never played bridge before. In fact, I've never really been a card player. My father, who was an expert bridge player, taught my older brother and older sister and myself how to play bridge. Of course, I wanted to be just as good, if not better, than my older brother and my older sister. I was competitive from the beginning. We come to the table, the tension is mounting. We make our moves, here's where we thrive. We come to the table, the cards we are counting. We play this sport and we feel alive. My bridge career has really been from a very young age. I started watching kibitzing my parents and eventually I played the dummy and then they needed a fourth and I played the villain. I interrupted two bridge games when I was born. My mom was playing it with her ladies and my dad was playing with his guys. So bridge was in my life from the very beginning. We used to have lunch and bridge socially and then one of my friends said, let's go to the bridge club. Well, we went to the bridge club and they devoured us. When Joanne called, I hurried uh, to do some research and I found a website on bridge and started to read the rules and got so thoroughly confused that I decided I wasn't going to start to learn now. And then life intervened and I didn't play bridge for many years. But I always knew, I always wanted to come back to the bridge club. And actually I think it's not a bad thing that it happened that way because we obviously want our audiences to be able to enjoy the show whether they're bridge players or not. Your hand must be sorted, diamond spades, hearts and clubs. All the bids bear watching, or you'll make flubs. Check your cards and once more, you should bid what you've got. Contracts yours now, hoping it's the right spot. Many years later, there were four of us at work who really, truly wanted to learn the game, so we took lessons. Six, seven years ago, my sister and myself started taking bridge lessons and just loved the bridge. And now I play way too much bridge. Well, I've been playing bridge for many, many years and I enjoy it very much. Uh, it's good for my brain, good exercise. How do I feel when I'm playing bridge? Exhilarated and sometimes despondent. My favorite parts, a lot of them were just meeting new people or talking to people that usually I 
wouldn't talk to and I wouldn't meet. And sometimes discouraged, but I get right back on that horse and that back in that saddle and get going again and back for more punishment and more glory. And it only takes one good result to just get you right back up there. We come to the table, the stakes are mounting. Check out my moves, here's where I thrive. We come to the table, the cards we are counting. I play to win and I feel alive. From playing bridge, I became a lot more open to meeting new people, even outside of bridge. Can't think of a better way of getting to know people. Bridge saved my life. Both music and playing bridge are lifelong pursuits for me. There is always something to learn and room to grow. I highly recommend including both in your life. Happy playing. We're doing the shuffle, the duplicate shuffle, the ever so memorable duplicate shuffle. We're roughing and stuffing and squeezing and ducking. Can't have kerfuffle in the duplicate shuffle. East, west, move. Players go this way, cards go that way. We, we play the same hands on the very same day. We're doing the shuffle, the duplicate shuffle, the ever so memorable duplicate shuffle. We're roughing and sloughing and squeezing and ducking. Can't have kerfuffle in the duplicate shuffle. The actual game, Bridge, is so much fun too. I am just wild about this game. I think it offers so much to so many. You're competing and the satisfaction when you do well and uh, it's a lot of fun. I made a lot of friends and the bridge club felt like a family to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We come to the table. The tension is mounting. We make our moves. Here's where we thrive. We come to the table. The cards we are counting. We play the We play the sport and we feel alive.